Hi, this is Mr. Arnell. We're at 824 Libby Drive and we're trying to build a house uh, during COVID-19 without any high school students, but do this online. So we're doing uh, a railing. And before we left, like the last day, I had Henry Ringdahl help put up this piece of handrail right here. So it is completely level, uh, left to right, right to left. And what I did is I made a little template like this because I need a board that is gonna cover this because you have to make this look nice. So I took a piece of one by eight pine because this is my template. Pine is super cheap. I don't wanna mess this piece of oak up. So I made a template that I can slide right here underneath this newel post. That's called a newel post. And I slide that down. And if you can picture this as being oak, O A K, like that, it's gonna be an oak board. It's gonna cover up this part of the flooring right here and it's gonna go all the way to the wall right there. And then I can put some trim underneath here on the uh, stairway side to cover up this ugly mess on this side too. Then I'm gonna put a shoe rail right here on top of here. A shoe rail is gonna go something like this and then I can put my two by twos from here to here, boom to boom. And then another one, boom to boom. And another one in my shoe rail, boom to boom, but I haven't shown you the shoe rail yet. So first we have to cut this oak board the super fancy oak board. And I put a few marks on here like this and we have to get to that point right there. And this is the corner like this. Okay, and we are gonna rip that. Rip it, rip it good so that it looks like this. And so it slides in there. Then we might have to lock this side off a little bit, fill this end in a little bit to make it look super Jenny. Uh, and then We'll be ready to go with the shoe rail right here, then start putting in the two by twos all the way across, and that's kind of the plan. All right, see how it goes. Okay, now I've adjusted the table saw over here to uh, U out this part over here. So I've set it right there, and I don't want to take off more than I need because it's like critical. So I have to set this up so the left side of the blade is. Uh, where that pencil line is, if you can see that. All right, we're gonna give her a try. We've run it through the table saw to this point right here, as you can see on the left side, and now we have to do this right side. Same kind of thing, we're gonna u out this for the newel post, and we're gonna follow that pencil line uh, to about that point. Then we have to carve it out with a jigsaw. Carve meaning cut it. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Bosch jigsaw and I have taped this off and I'm gonna run this jigsaw onto this pencil line, square off the corners to those marks right here on the left and right side. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now what we did is we U this like this, pick this part up, U it so it fits super snug like this. We cut it a little bit long on this side and I'm gonna fill in a piece right here to make it look pretty right in there. Fill in a piece of oak to cover up that crack right there. So when I put down this part of the newel post, it doesn't leave a big gap right there. I flex the board a little bit, scratch the paint a tiny bit right here, but I flex the board up to try to get it in and boom, put it down in place. Now I have to measure this side right here and this side to make sure that it's uniform all the way. And I'm gonna pull back this cardboard a little bit. You can see how that covers that crack and covers up all that OSB right there. So it leaves a nice edge right here like this. Okay, now we have the shoe rail in. It fits. It's not fastened down yet like this. So that shoe rail is here. Again, it's plowed out there, plowed out up here to accept these spindles. And these spindles each are an inch and a quarter wide, like this. 1.25 is a decimal for inch and a quarter. And they fit right in there. And again, we have to put them so that there's no more than a four inch gap in between each spindle. So what I have to do is, it's called mathematics, everyone. Uh, I have to put my tape measure right here against the wall. 
and I have to put it right here against this side. And if you come over here, you can see it's 115 and a half. 115 and a half. So what I've done in my life is I've taken all my spindles and I've laid them out like this, like this on the floor, all the way across, all 25 spindles, let's say. And then I measure each gap to make sure it's the same. And then I have to adjust it. And it takes like possibly hours to do that, okay? But what I would do if I was me is I would then take this measurement, 115 and a half, and I'd go to a website. Try to find a website now because they have them now where it'll figure out for you like how many spindles you need at an inch and a quarter wide and your gap spacing right here. And then you can just fly with it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna head home, eat a little bit of lunch and figure that out on the website. Okay, so I went to this website, I looked around for a while, I went to blacklayer.com, came out with, uh, plugged in my data. My length was nine feet, seven and a half inches, because nine feet is 108 inches, plus seven is 115 and a half. My member width is inch and a quarter, and I put my max spacing at four inches, clicked on calculate, and wada boom, wada bing. It says that I need 23 members. Okay, what I did is just to make sure that I was right and I wasn't confident in that website uh, or a website, I'm probably not gonna include it in my video, but I just didn't think it was right. So what I did is I added all these balusters together. I took 22 of them uh, and I multiplied by 1.25 because each baluster is an inch and a quarter thick, and I added them together, subtracted by from 115 and a half, and I got a number of, I think it was 88, then I divided by 23 spacings. One, two, three, four, all the way to 23 spacings over there, and I came up with a decimal, it was 3.82, and then I tried to figure out what is 0.82 of an inch and it's not 7 eighths, it's more like uh, 13 sixteenths. So I took a board and I cut each one of these, uh, I ripped it to three and 13 sixteenths width, and then I just cut it into little blocks right there to see how it ended up. And it ended up with eh, about an eighth of an inch difference. So it's pretty darn close. So if I cut each fillet strip at about uh, three and 13 sixteenths of an inch on the top and the bottom this thing should end up looking Jenny um, so that's what I did all right I glued on a piece right there in that U. you might not be able to see it because it's so Jenny perfect but I glued on a piece right there on the newel post to make it look good and now I'm gonna take a measurement by myself and I see that I am about, I would say, an inch and uh, maybe an eighth. So I walk to the other side and I have to make sure that I am an inch and an eighth. And then I'm gonna fasten this board down with a finishing nailer. And one quarter inch, put in some finishing nails. Now we're gonna put in that shoe rail that we cut to length right here, shoe rail, bottom part. Okay, before I put in that shoe rail, I am going to fix some paint problems right there because when we put the shoe rail in, we scratched it right there. So I'm gonna uh, just dab a little paint on there with a paintbrush. And then right up here, you might be able to see that mess right there. And we have a pencil mark on the top of that handrail right there that is hard to remove. So I'm gonna do some uh, painting around that as well right now uh, so take care of that problem okay the wall's been like touched up painted now on the bottom and on that side the paint's still wet so it might be a little bit shiny but it hopefully will dry the same color and no one will ever tell and then now I'm putting down this shoe rail which is gonna fit perfectly like that bang 
And now, see how it moves? I would say we have to fasten that. That would be a good thing to do. And it's gotta be straight up and down from right there. Boom, straight, so I'm gonna get a level and make sure it's straight up and down center of this thing because that's the center right there of the newel post, this handrail is. And handrail height, by the way, has to be a, a minimum of 36 inches for residential. Uh, and I think for commercial, it might be 42 inches for commercial. So if you go to the mall, if we ever go back to a mall or something like that, or a, a business, uh, 42 inches. But 36 inches is a minimum. Otherwise, little babies might fall over the edge right here. And remember, four inch spacing on our spindles. All right, super quick, I measured this uh, at two and a quarter and half of two and a quarter is one and an eighth. It's called math, kids. So I put a pencil mark right there and I put it in the center of this four and a half inch newel post. So that should be two and a quarter on each side to that pencil line. And that should make it in the middle. This would not be in the middle. Okay, I threw a finishing nail in right there. Uh, so that is centered on the newel post, two and a quarter inches to that uh, pencil line. And then on this side, don't want to make you dizzy, but on this side I cut in a spindle because I want to, and I have no fasteners on that shoe rail, but I'm taking a level now and I am going to see if that is straight up and down. And you can see how on a level you want that little bubble to be in the middle. So I'm going to try to get it in the middle and then we'll send a nail in, into the shoe rail on the bottom. Okay, again, this is called fillet strip. It's uh, about a quarter inch thick, about an inch and a quarter wide because we are gonna fill it in here. So I've gotta cut these at three and 13 sixteenths, which is right about there. I'm gonna put a pencil line, get on the chop saw, boom, cut it. Put bottom fillet strip in, bang. Three and 13 sixteenths. Newel post, going in. Tappy tap, 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 tap. Stop. This fillet strip then, is gonna fill it at the top, and we're gonna see if we're level. Why doesn't that look level? But we're gonna see if it's level. Uh, sauced it in, gonna grab what's called a level, kids. Uh, this is a two foot level. Put it on there, and what a boom, what a bang. That is perfect, okay? So now this first spindle is perfect. I'm gonna put a, cup, a couple of brad nails, bang, bang in the fillet strip, bang, bang in the fillet strip. And then we're gonna cut the next spindle right here, if that makes sense, right where my level is, top to bottom. I'm gonna cut that at about 34 and 11 sixteenths. And I'm gonna make a fillet strip that is three and three sixteenths. Now we can just go with it. Three and three sixteenths all the way from right to left. Okay, now I've nail set of that right there. So you can see a little uh, nail hole right there and also at the top right there. So I'm gonna take some of my wood putty right here out of this, put it on like a big old booger like that and we just rub her right in. I would say before you put in that fillet strip, see how that hole's gone? And then same with like right down here again, video. Okay, I cut more fillet strips again for the bottom and for the top, and I'm gonna to try to make sure the grains kinda of look similar on the bottom, because the top doesn't matter, and there's some really funky looking ugliness right here. You don't wanna put that at the bottom, see that? But no one's gonna notice it at the top, so I'm gonna put those fillet strips at the top. Okay, so, and I've cut a couple of these, and again, this is probably after the last time I talked to you, uh, 15 minutes of fillet strips. Keeping a social distance, we have a special guest right here. It's safety right here. And again, I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see this, I'm wearing my safety glasses. I don't have my ear protection on, but, uh, or my face mask yet, but it's right, right there. Anyway, so it's right there, just in case. And there's six feet, six feet right here. Six feet, we can get our tape measure right here. Yeah. Our Mannion's tape measure, thanks Johnny Nowak, Gary Nowak, and we can, Put that out at six feet. All right, anything to say? Um, hey, 
have fun out there. And I'm watching the professional man here at work here. He does great work. Best teacher you ever get. You're too kind. Yeah. What a liar. Okay, we have 10 spindles up now. Let's look at the watch. It is 3.33. So Henry Ford was right. If we can do an assembly line, make a crap ton of fillet strips, cut these spindles to the right length, we can just super fly if we have a group of young men and or women that can do menial tasks over and over again, uh, just like doing this. However, we just have me. Okay, almost there. Uh, what is it, 434. And remember Henry when we put in these screws right there, like right before COVID uh, hit the fan? Anyways, those are sticking out and our smoke detectors are going off. Not sure why. So, um, too much smoke. I gotta go downstairs, take care of that. And then, anyways, I'll do that in a minute. But what I had to do is, because of those screws, I had to hollow that out with, don't try this at home, kids, but I had to take a longer piece, you can't hear me, and, oh, smoke detector's off now because I created smoke, apparently, by cutting that with a chop saw. So I used that chop saw right there, don't try this at home, and I did a surgical maneuver right there. Safety Steve would just, well, he's gone now, but he'd be really mad at me right now. Okay, I cut it, and now it'll go up in there like that, and it's gonna fit way more Jenny, like that. Okay, like that. Otherwise, it would ride on those screws. And then I'm gonna put the last fillet strip right there, and I'll show you the completed version. Woo! Fire up! All right, what is it? 439 on the Iron Man, and there we have it. What a boom, what a bing. Woo! We did it. I'll just give you a quick tour. Um, good job, Schwartz, on the top of that one. Remember, it took a lot of cuts there. Uh, countertops are sort of in. Over here, oh, we gotta put a handrail going downstairs. Oh, belt sander, ooh, looking good. That's gone. Uh, trimmed out some windows. Uh, next video, probably doing the little furring strips because this doesn't quite line up, but I fixed this door. Ooh, it doesn't like hit anymore. Ooh, that is Jenny nice. It doesn't hit anymore. I fixed that by putting some torque screws. Finish the trim here and over there. Ooh, nice, ooh, nice. And it's looking like this. Sorry this is taking so long because I know that you got other things to do, like, uh, you know, be in quarantine. Finish the trim in here, uh, like that. Had Benny come over, finish a little bit of trim in here. We got it all like planned out and this still needs to get tiled. Talk to Matt Paulson and he's coming like next week and we're gonna, I'm gonna clean out this and we're gonna do some tiling and some carpeting. So that's kind of where we're at here, team. So, all right, you guys take care, miss ya. And this just really isn't very much fun to video, set down the video camera and then, you know, I don't know, video and then go home now and spend six hours putting a video together. This just isn't that much fun for me either, just so you know. Uh, I miss you guys. Uh, thanks for doing your homework and hope to see you, you know, this summer, social distancing with me, whatever. Talk to you, dude. Bye.